So we cannot spell success without UC. So those who are planning to enroll, especially freshmen, this upcoming uh, school year 2021 to 2022, the enrollment is officially starting. So in this video, I will be uh, showing you how to enroll yourself uh, using the online procedure. So the first uh, in our screen, so we must uh, open a browser. So I suggest that uh, you choose Google Chrome so that there will be no problem because um, I am uh, using the uh, this uh, Google Chrome and uh, we have a uh, smooth access to the website by the way I am uh, one of uh, the regular instructor of University of Cebu Maritime Education and Training Center I am uh, your, at your service chief mate Jan Serum I am already teaching there for five years and uh, I would like to promote the uh, university for uh, those uh, aspiring cadets and uh, future deck officers and master mariners and engine officers as well as chief engineers so again we have here the website metc.uc.edu.ph okay so in this website in the introductory uh, page uh, we have here University of Cebu offers affordable and quality education responsive to the demands and local and inter international communities so this is the track line of uh, UCMATC and this is the address so for those uh, freshmen who are planning to enroll and uh, are located uh, on the province or on the different parts of the Philippines so uh, the 2020, uh, 2021 to 2022 um, classes uh, will start in online so uh, there's no problem um, with you not going to Cebu yet however there is a possibility that the face-to-face uh, -face classes will resume also this year so uh, better consider that one all right so if you are a freshman a college freshman then you need to click college enrollment so upon clicking college enrollment you will be redirected to another page where you can see here home and beside it new ad student admission so as a freshman you are new student so just click new student okay so all you need to do is to provide all the information given here so academic uh, period okay you need to fill up per semester then the course you have BSMRE, BSMT if you wanted to become a naval architect we have also a course uh, called BS NAMI and catering service then uh, the type of student okay new freshman of course huh? all right so you need to fill up your name middle name last name then you need to provide your gmail huh? so that is compulsory if you are attending an online class also you need to provide your mobile number then you need to provide your gender your religion the date of birth the month the year and then the birthplace uh, your birthplace so we have here the guardians information your father's name your mother's full name or even your guardian if not your mother or your father probably your uncle or your aunt then 
uh, your nationality and your city address and then your home address so both of these are required and then since we have uh, online classes that's why you will be asked if uh, you have the internet speed and then the internet service provider like Globe, PLDT and Dito then the digital device available like if you have a laptop you have a, a cellular device only a, and uh, other devices that uh, will be used in the online class then your ed educational attainment since you are a new student so you need to fill up this one primary then the year you have finished the, uh, you attended this one uh, this one is primary which means this is uh, elementary then uh, intermediate uh, from first year to fourth year and then we have the senior high then uh, we have the secondary huh? so I believe that primary here is not uh, applicable anymore no so it is no uh, if not applicable so primary school is I, I, I believe this is kindergarten so intermediate is the elementary because the term that they are using as of this moment is not the term that I used uh, to know before okay? when I was still a student that's why I got confused secondary is for uh, junior high and then you have here senior high then all uh, year attended must be filled up then uh, additional information uh, graduation type so you need to choose no if you are a fourth year high school graduate you belong to the old curriculum or, or alternative als or philippine education placement or if you are a senior high graduate so you need to fill out everything because you need to upload uh, files no so what are those files so i have made here the table so you need to upload these files no? meaning you need to scan uh, the following uh, documents so for a new student which uh, graduated uh, senior high school so you need to have form 138 these are the following documents that you need to uh, scan no? so certificate of good moral character nso or psa library no so if you have nso then that's okay if you have psa then that is also okay there's no need for you to uh, uh, get psa if you have nso okay next is to picture uh, your old id from your previous school then third periodical grade no? your third periodical grade uh, needs to be scanned and then uh, certificate of graduation okay so this is a certificate of graduation if uh, you are already you have already graduated and uh, you just missed the the last semester and you wanted to enroll this uh, upcoming semester so you just need to upload no your certificate of graduation but for those uh, who were still graduating so you need to upload only the third periodical grade all right so for those who were under uh, old bec uh, fourth year high school graduate like me so I, di I did not attend the 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 senior high the, the senior high you know, the two years extension the k-12 which means i only have k-10 so since i graduated the uh, 2008 uh, 2008 uh, at Pardo National High School so the requirements are only the following we have form 138 then certificate of good moral and then we have the NSO or PSA library so you just need to uh, scan uh, these three and then you need to upload it so next is for the ALS so for the ALS you just need to ALS alternative learning system or Philippine education placement test PEPT so you just need to upload either of the certificates 
and also your NSO or PSA library. Alright, so those are the documents that you need to comply. So I suggest that uh, you go to the internet cafe and you better uh, pay for the scan copies. But if you don't have, then you use your mobile phone. You just need to make sure that the copies are clear so that uh, we have a lot of uh, um, applications which uh, we can use that are free in the play store such as clear scanner so i suggest that you use uh, those applications and uh, i suppose that you have a good cellular uh, brand huh? so that uh, the the outcome will be good and uh, will be um, acceptable for the approval of our beloved dean captain in hungary so um, that would be all no? and uh, what else do we have here so after that after that uh, you you need also to to check no, the enrollment terms and condition in the enrollment terms and condition you will uh, see here that uh, you need to have a stable internet connection if you will be attending the online classes uh, that is normal no? since uh, we could not conduct online classes if we do not have any internet connection so you better check uh, your um, the internet connection you better check your your resources no? first before enrolling to an online class so even if uh, we have the online class at University of Cebu we still offer the the quality of education indeed um, we have uploaded a lot of um, yeah, videos in uh, YouTube in UC Marinos or in uh, Marinos International so you can check our YouTube page uh, uh, YouTube channel I mean and uh, check the quality of education um, that uh, we gave no? and uh, I, I, I am one no? of uh, I am one of uh, those instructor who gave for at least that I have uh, given the the, the minimum uh, minimum requirement no? for uh, the, the the information that uh, which I supposed to give to our cadets all right so that would be all and I hope that uh, you will have a um, a smooth uh, enrollment process and then uh, after the approval you will be paying and uh, the payment would be for uh, the different banks which will be emailed to you no, after the uh, the approval of our beloved Dean Captain in Hambre Jerry in Hambre so uh, to the administration, uh, to the admin of University of Cebu. So, in behalf of the administration of, of University of Cebu, I, I heartily welcome uh, new cadets no, to our university. I hope that uh, together we will make your dreams come true. So, thank you and God bless.